Hi everyone, this is Marissa. I'm on real quick to share this really neat binder scrapbook I made. I got commissioned for a Mother's Day gift and that I could basically do whatever I want. So I went with this. Uh, I love the color of the binder and so I ended up using Marigold, uh, Heritage, some Sweet Story, and the new Garden Party for this. Um, a little bit of everything. I added a frame to the front so they could put a picture. I did some fussy cutting uh, with one of the ephemera pieces and added some gauze that I picked up from work that was gonna be tossed out. Uh, I made a little paper cluster there. I shared that on my Instagram. These are little um, page protectors from a planner I had that I ended up not using so, or I did use and I'm done with it, but I wanted to reuse these so. I'm adding them here and added some fun washi tape. I created this little pocket with a pull-out card where they can put pictures. Little cute cluster with a, um, this is just some crocheted trim that I've cut up and used around. This is a really neat transparency sheet that I've had for a while. It is basic gray, I believe. Um, they had them a few years ago. Uh, and then I just added the mother at the bottom. It's one of the, these are the Dollar Tree stickers. Can't really see them, but right now in the light, they, you can totally see them. Uh, some more fussy cutting with the cameos and just kind of border for more pictures. A little pocket sheet here with some cut aparts and some scrap paper. Fun little trim there with some um, lace little scrap of page here that has um, the floral paper and then I did some fussy cutting and they could journal there or um, put just put pictures. Uh, this fun page uh, was a little bit labor intensive, adding all the pockets, um, creating the tags for it, but it was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. Little pull up outs that are cut apart. Uh, I, you can journal, I added a few stickers there. This one I added some fun trims. The colors that he said I could use were rose gold and also leopard print. So I added some here and there. Another cut apart, I used some of the heritage fabric bows and then some music sheet in the back. Just fun stuff. This one's really cool. I used one of the larger um, six by eight sheets from the book and then did some fussy cutting of, this is actually from Bloom, but I had the paper out. So I thought it kind of worked out a little bit there. And then just the back sheet, I left it as is. As you can see the pockets here, real fun. These are some um, Project Life uh, photo page protectors that you can add on into your book, but I add them and they come with uh, tape in the back. So I ended up um, just adding them and then definitely decorating this side, but this one I left blank since it'll be, you know, overlapping it. So the gold vellum sheet oh my god I love them and I found these at Joanne's on clearance like a while ago so that was a good find um, another pocket page that kind of opens up and a pull out there a space for pictures and then I have this fun little tuck spot here that's with like a belly band style and then journaling spot there this is probably my favorite um, one of my favorites. It's a pull out little pocket that I made using some of the new um, garden party ephemera pieces and then just did some fun stamping, washi tape, stickers. Um, I did use a sticker book from uh, Maggie Holmes. And then one of the page protectors, I added some brown washi. And here's my little cheetah or leopard print cheetah print and then um, these are the charms that were part of the heritage collection this was a fun one to do I used some of the scraps and stitched them together did some fussy cutting added the enamel dots and um, music sheet up here that was ruffled up with some it's like a tan colored um, tool that I've had for a while I want to say I got it at Joanne's I'm pretty sure that's where I picked it up Another pocket page here with the ephemera pieces and some stamping. This page is probably my favorite. Um, 
one of my my other favorite one. I did a really fun um, job with the trims here. Love it. I'm probably gonna make one for myself with the this color. Uh, this is one of the cut aparts from the new um, Garden Party, I believe, or if not, it's Marigold. Uh, pocket page, coffee dyed. It's coffee or tea dyed um, doily there. I can't remember. I completely forgot. I did it last year in like November, October. Little cluster set up here. Um, another little pocket with the pullout in the back is just the double-sided paper. I ended up um, doing like a scrapbook option there so that they could put pictures, some clusters here with fussy cutting. Uh, this music sheet paper, I did a little bit of stamping, some of the, um, the other side of this, I put it here, and then some more fabric trims and ephemera pieces that I thought were pretty to add there. This is a super cute belly band. I love it. I pull out with the um, six by eight paper from Heritage, and then I did some real pretty um, mustard color uh, velvet, velvet. Oh my gosh, velvet ribbon. And then the back side is just double sided paper. This one, I screwed up the. Um, punching there so I ended up doing these spaces so that you could I could add stickers and then just little squares there left for my um, for him to put pictures and I stitched the little uh, paper punch corners there and then the last page I ended up putting this paper because I wanted to cover the stitching from the other side and then I decided to add this it's not sitting well, but I like the way it looks. I added colored be um, gold beads and white beads and then this fun little silver heart to go with the tag. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that it inspires you to create some fun and um, different and you know, don't be afraid to mix and match. Uh, try different and many things as you can. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.